Sometimes you're gonna have to take a chance and just believe in yourself. My name is Carl Allenby, and after 25 years of being an auto mechanic, I decided to become a doctor. When I was a kid, there was a show called St. Elsewhere, and it featured Denzel Washington. It was really the first time I saw an African-American man portrayed as a doctor. That image just stuck with me throughout my childhood. It was really hard to find a job that paid over minimum wage in East Cleveland. Starting my auto repair shop was more out of desperation than out of opportunity. Working on cars was always a joy for me. And at one point, I just felt like if I wanted to grow my business any larger, I needed a business degree. I never finished college but I decided to go for it. To finish my business degree, I had to take a biology class. I avoided as long as possible, but you know, within the first hour of being there, all my childhood dreams came rushing back. And I knew right then and there, I wanted to go into the field of medicine. After I got my undergraduate degree, I was 41. I figured I was too old. Maybe that time had passed but I had this one professor that made me really believe I could actually do well in the medical field. He told me, Carl, I think you'd be a darn good doctor. I knew it was going to take six years of medical studies where I couldn't work. I'm Kim Allenby and Carl and I have been married 11 years. When Carl came home from class, he said he wanted to go into the medical field. I was surprised at first, but I thought it was fantastic. We did have to think of a plan. We sold the auto shop, scrapped together our savings, and raised our four kids off of Kim's salary as a physical therapist. It was challenging, I'm not gonna lie. We knew if we stuck together, we were going to be able to weather the storm and make it through. Dr. Carl Allenby. I am Professor Arthur Barnes, and I taught Carl in 2011 and 2012. I didn't see Carl's age as an obstacle. I saw it as an advantage. Being an older student, he brought his real world experience, his focus, his drive. I thought he'd make a great doctor and it worked out. Carl has no idea that I'm going to be here and what I'm looking forward to is the expression on his face when he walks through the door and there I am. Oh my God, Dr. Barnes! Oh man, unbelievable! <laughs> Professor Varnes was able to see something that I didn't even see in myself and really gave me the belief that this was something I could do. It seems like I was the only one who thought my age was a factor. Everyone has really embraced my age and what I guess they think of as my wisdom. 